And in, in Peter, okay, in Peter, the Greek word for stripes is mollops, okay? Mollops. When Peter says, by his stripes, you were healed, okay? So in 1 Peter 2.24, he says mollops, okay? And by his mollops, and a mollop means a wound that trickles with blood, okay? A wound that trickles with blood, and it's talking about stripes, my friend. Just to insert this on a side note, and that means it, it, if you're struggling with cutting, with self-harm, I want you to know that Jesus already shed his blood to release all pressure in your life. He says to you, dear sister, my brother, Jesus says to you today, you don't need to do that to yourself. I know the shame that you feel when you do that to yourself. You think it's going to make you feel relieved, but the, but the shame and the guilt you feel is overwhelming the pleasure that you anticipated. So don't, don't fear or worry anymore. Just let me have it. Jesus says, just let me have it. I shed my blood for you. I took those stripes on my own body for your peace. Okay, for your peace. Jesus died to give you peace, my friend. Isaiah told us that the chastisement for our peace was laid on him. So you can have peace today because of the atoning work of Jesus Christ. So believe that today. Okay, believe that today. Receive this word and just call out to him to deliver you from those evil voices that torture you. Because our God is mighty to save, and his ear is not too deaf to hear, and his arm is not too short to reach out and save you. His wrists were scarred for you, dear precious one. He was scarred for you. If you're hearing this or if you're, you're watching online and you're not sure uh, you know, about what step to take, you can go to the website, neverforgettheblood.org slash respawn. And then there's a little form that you can fill out and we can, we can answer some questions for you or help you get connected to a local church. But as my friends in other countries would say, this king is now requiring your allegiance. Will you stand for him even if it requires a beheading? So God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Just until next time, my friends, see to it that no man steal thy crown and never forget the blood.